This unit has the capacity to change the environment in which you enclose. Dehumidification has significantly changed our industry in relation to how we approach a job and how we can actually complete a job. So historically what we've done is we've been open to the elements in relation to how we can complete a job. So we are governed by what the elements do and that is the environmental elements. So this unit here enables me to monitor and control the environment in which I encapsulate. So there's the trick, the encapsulation. So if I encapsulate an environment now and we've got all these great pieces of equipment available to us, we can with encapsulation, cladding, encompass or totally control an environment with these particular units. So if I use a cladding like power clad, encapsulate the unit or the area that I wish to contain and monitor, control, this unit has the capacity to do that and as I said, 3,000 litres a second. It's amazing. So how does it work? What it actually does is, with your encapsulated area and ducting, the utilisation of ducting, we put the ducting into the encapsulation. So then this machine will draw the environmental air from the enclosure and run it through this machine to what we call a desiccant wheel. So you've got fans that are drawing the, the air from the environment we, we've contained, running it through the machine. The desiccant wheel is picking up how much moisture there is in the air and processing that moisture. So the grains of moisture within a cubic metre can be controlled. So say for example, if you understand dew point, dew point dominates how we can coat a surface. This gives us the opportunity to control that dew point. So we're taking the moisture out of the air and the desiccant wheel in this machine is removing the moisture and giving it the air back to me. So it's drawing it in, processing it, and giving it back to me in such a state that it's no moisture, it's moisture free and slightly warmed. So it's moisture free and slightly warmed. Well, let's think about this. What if it's really hot? Also with this particular machine, I can actually put an air conditioning unit on this so that I can cool the air before it goes in and comes back to me. But if it's cold, well, I can also put a heater on this, which we call a, a bank heater on the back of it, so that it's drawing warm air in, still processing the moisture within the air and sending it through to be nice and warm. So look at all the parameters I've got. If it's too hot, I can cool the air. If it's too cold, I can warm the air. But this machine is still removing the grains of moisture within that cubic metre of air that I'm trying to process. So its capacity is quite significant. So what are the features and benefits of that? Well, that enables me to not only control the environment that I'm trying to work in, but also to the substrate that I'm working on is kept at an ambient temperature. So, hang on a minute, if the substrate's kept at an ambient temperature, I can work 24 seven. So that's what I'm saying about this machine. It has significantly changed our industry with the introduction of controlled air. So if I blast an area, which is, say for example, a steel substrate, and I've encapsulated the area, and I'm controlling the ambient air, the significance of that is that I can blast and leave the blast open. Well, what do you mean, leave the blast open? I don't have to paint it. So I can go for days, even weeks, months if I wish to, as long as I control that environment with this particular machine. So, if I can leave the blast open, that means that I can just continue to blast, then come back and blow the entire structure down and paint it. What a great advantage in relation to productivity. And that's what this, is, this enhances, the productivity, the availability to be able to blast something, leave it blasted, retain the blast, hold the blast, and then eventually come back and paint it when it suits me and I'm not controlled by the environment. So historically what we've done is we've blasted and tried to paint that blast to save the blast as soon as possible before the, the environmental or, or, or ambient temperatures affect the blast that I've just done. So in a, 
a coastal environment, the added advantages are quite substantial because you've got salt in the air and so forth. So this particular unit, because you've encapsulated, controls the environment in which I'm in. So therefore, it might take on one side of it ambient air, but it will process that as well before it sends it through to me. So what we try to do is we do a circle. So the air within the encapsulation we have is the warm air or the, or the controlled air is sent into the encapsulation, but then it's taken back out and processed through this and then put back into me. So it's doing a beautiful circle in relation to controlling what the temperature is, what the moisture is and so forth. So bonus, bonus, bonus. In relation to productivity, it's, it is a big enhancement, primarily because we can split shifts now, we can work 24-7 to get a job completed within a reasonable time. These machines are not difficult to operate, primarily because the functionality of it is controlled with a, a computer board, there's trip switches and so forth in there, for the unit to trip in and out as it's, as it's required in relation to temperature, in relation to its, its ability to run and contain and maintain the environment in which I'm in. So you can see here the control board itself is relatively simple because it's all labelled in relation to what I'm doing. 